Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you two things. First, I'm going to show you how to set up the Flatpak package type on your system so that you can benefit from this universal package type. And then I'm going to show you an example Flatpak package called Foliate, which is an ebook reader, which is right up my alley because I have a ton of ebooks that I definitely want to get caught up on and I want to see if Foliate is going to be a great option for that. Now, before we get started, I need to explain the concept of what a universal package is so that you can understand where Flatpak actually fits into the picture and why you might want to use it. Normally, when you have a Linux distribution, you'll have a package manager utility such as apt or DNF. Those are the two most common, but there are, of course, others. And on the command line, you can go ahead and apt install or DNF install whatever package you want from your distribution's repositories. But the problem is you are locked to whatever version of the application is available in your repositories. And if you are not running on a rolling release, the application versions might actually be very old. Another benefit of universal packages is that they include the libraries in the package itself. So if you, for example, were to update a library on your system and another package requires it, that package can break if the library that you have installed is not a compatible version and you can break multiple applications. So universal packages are standalone and that's great because they're self-contained and you can have newer versions of applications without installing a third-party PPA or repository and I think that it's a better solution overall. Does it have its weaknesses? Well, sure, everything does. But universal packages are a great way forward, a great step forward. And Flatpak is, well, like I mentioned, one of those solutions. Now, the example Flatpak that I'm going to use in this video, again, is Foliate, which is an ebook reader. But one thing to know about Ubuntu is that you do not need to install the Flatpak package type if you just want Foliate. I'll explain. So if I go here to Ubuntu software, and then I go ahead and search for Foliate, here it is, right here. Now I didn't install the Flatpak package that allows me to install Flatpak packages. This, as far as I'm aware, is a snap package, if I'm not mistaken, and Snap packages are built into 2004. When I loaded up Ubuntu 18.04, I also saw Foliate in the list of available packages as well. So if all you want to do is install Foliate, well, here you go. On Ubuntu 18.04 or 20.04, you really don't need to do anything. Just open up Ubuntu software, search for it, you're all set. Now, I'm going to show you the Flatpak method again, like I mentioned, because maybe you prefer Flatpaks and, you know, everyone has their preference between the three main package types. I mean, personally, I like app images the best, but, you know, all three are pretty cool. And I'm going to show you how to set up Flatpak right now so that we can install it from that. So let's get started. Now, what I'm going to do is open a terminal. And I'll go ahead and increase the font size for you guys. And I think you'll be able to see it now. First of all, we want to make sure that we are connected to the internet. As you see here, I have a Wi-Fi icon, so I am. And then we will want to refresh our package repositories. So I'm going to run sudo apt update and then enter. And there we go. Next, we'll need to install a few packages. And because I'm lazy, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in right here. And we have two packages. We have the Flatpak package itself, which allows us the courtesy of installing Flatpak packages. Then there's also the GNOME software plugin for Flatpak as well. And we probably don't need the latter, but it's probably a good idea to have it. So I'll press enter and then enter again. And there we go. Now we have Flatpak support on our system. It was literally that easy. So now that we have Flatpak support installed, we should be able to go to the flathub.org website and install a Flatpak. Now one disclaimer I want to give you guys is this didn't actually work for me until I restarted and I'm not sure why. 
It kept telling me that flat packs are not supported even though I did have the proper packages installed. And then I tested this offline to make sure that it works after rebooting and now it does. So what you should be able to do is search for the name of the application. And again, it's fully eight in our case here. So I'll go ahead and search for that and here it is. And we should be able to click install, which I'll do now. And open with software install, which is the default, okay. It'll open up the software utility here. So this is Ubuntu software specifically. So it should actually come up with Foliate as soon as it finishes refreshing. And here we see that it is showing the Foliate ebook reader. This is the Flatpak version. We can confirm that by scrolling down here. And we see that the source is flathub.org which is how we know that this is the flat pack version and not the one that Ubuntu is shipping by default in the Ubuntu software store, which is most likely a snap package. Nothing wrong with that, but in this video, we want the flat pack and that is definitely the one that this is. So what I should now be able to do is install it. This video is sponsored by Linode, my cloud infrastructure provider for over two years. Linode provides Linux servers that make it easy and affordable to host your own app, site, or service live in the cloud. Whether you're a Linux power user or just starting out, you can use Linode. You can start from scratch and fully customize your server for any application, or use Linode's one-click apps to deploy game servers, WordPress sites, personal VPNs, and much more. You can even upload and run your own image. Servers can be easily scaled up or down, so you only pay for what you need. And regular backups are also available, so you'll never lose your work. Best of all, Linode comes with 24-7 support that is 100% managed by humans by phone support or support ticket. To get $20 in free credit when you create your new Linode account, sign up at linode.com slash learnlinuxtv. The link is in the description. I'd like to thank Linode for not only being awesome, but also for their continued support of my channel. I really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. And that was really fast, so I'll click launch. And here it is. I'll go ahead and clear the screen here. And now we are free to use this ebook reader, but before we do, I just want to point out a little quirk that I ran into. So if I go into the applications menu, and type foliate. We do see that the application launcher is here, so we can easily get back to this app if we want to run it again in the future. But when I installed foliate off camera via the command line, because I wanted to test that process, it did not show an application icon here at all, which was kind of weird. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you right now. So if I go ahead and bring the Flathub site back up here, And here it is. If for some reason the graphical way of installing it doesn't work, this is how I was able to install the actual Foliate app through the command line. You can just copy this command right here, paste it into your terminal. But when I did that, there was no application icon at all, which is a little strange. So you definitely want to do this through the graphical utility if you can. They also give you the command right here to run it after you install it. But I don't know about you, but I'm not going to remember this command. I prefer an application icon. It could just be a bug in the uh, Flathub site or maybe in the Flatpak. I don't quite know. But as long as you follow along, just install the Flatpak support, restart your machine, and then you can click on the install button. And again, that's the one up here. That should install it just fine. And you do get your application launcher, so it's a win-win. Anyway... Back here to Foliate. So I have a bunch of ebooks. My publisher, Pact Publishing, has a bunch of ebooks on their site. And they often have, you know, a $5 ebook deal and they're not a sponsor. So I'm not mentioning, you know, something like a coupon code or anything like that. I'm only mentioning them because I just, well, I really enjoy their content. And I'm going to use a couple of books as an example. So what I'm going to do is open up files right here. And I have a couple of ebooks. I'm checking out Kubernetes right now, so I have one of those books right here. That's this one, 
And then I was also curious how my latest book looks in Foliate. So I figured I would open up both of these. So I should be able to click on this here and right click and open with Foliate. Actually, I should probably double click on it. And you know what? It's working. It looks like it's working. And there it is. So now we have Mastering Kubernetes on my screen right now. So this is pretty cool because now I'll be able to read all of my EPUB files in an ebook reader, which is a long time coming. We've had ebook readers before, but none of them have been all that great. So let's check out Foliate. And I'm basically just clicking here through the book. make it bigger here and of course we have a right arrow we have a left arrow to go forwards and back i could just simply click on the right edge right here or the left edge to go back so we have some options there as far as how to navigate the book and then we also have some options here so if i bring up this menu we can go to the theme we can change the color scheme and that's pretty cool i think i like this one right here then under advanced, we can change the layout. It's by default set to automatic. And I could do single column. So I only have one page on the screen at any one time. And we also have some other layouts here as well. Well, I'll leave it up to you to go ahead and browse through the various options. It looks like you could customize this quite a bit. And, you know, I have to tell you, I'm excited because I was looking for a good ebook reader. And it looks like this one is definitely going to be. A good solution so far. I mean, it doesn't really take much to impress me when it comes to an ebook reader, but you know, I think this is going to do just nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one and then open my book. Just really curious to see how this looks in here. And there it is, sure enough. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just going to click through a couple pages here. Get through all the front matter here. And random section well you get the point and we can also add a bookmark here so I can click this menu go here to bookmarks and then add a bookmark so I know where I left off that's pretty cool it has all the features here that I would expect to find in an ebook reader so let me know what you guys think in the comments below this video but anyway there you go that was a quick video on how to enable flatpak support and also how to install the Foliate ebook reader, which is pretty cool so far. Definitely check that out and let me know what you think of it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.